Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam, question number 39 in Alternative Energy Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, please see page 317. In order to generate electricity, a nuclear fusion reactor would theoretically make use of deuterium, that's also known as heavy hydrogen, which can be obtained from water, lithium, abundant in the Earth's crust, and what else? Well, the answer to that question is D, tritium. That's another form of heavy hydrogen. Now, deuterium has one proton and one neutron in the nucleus. Ordinary hydrogen just has a proton. Tritium has one proton and two neutrons. That the tri comes from the fact that there are three particles in the in the nucleus, the DEU deuterium. That uh, implies that there are two particles in the nucleus. But that is what this reaction involves. So the correct answer is D. None of these others apply. It's important to realize here in this question what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a nuclear fusion reactor, not fission. Fission involves uranium. Fusion involves hydrogen. And we can actually look at a diagram of the reaction that would take place in a nuclear fusion reactor. These uh, dark balls or spheres here are protons. The gray disks or featureless spheres are neutrons. H3, that's tritium. H2, that's deuterium. HE4, that's ordinary helium. These atoms combine and give off that extra neutron plus some energy and that is how the reaction works. But in a nuclear fusion reactor, if they ever build a good one, and a one that can sustain a controlled reaction as opposed to an explosive reaction, the correct answer is D. It's tritium that's involved besides the other things <coughs> mentioned in this question.